Hi everybody, welcome back. Good to see you again. Hope it's been a really, really good week for you. A uh, busy one for me between work and videos and thinking about what to present to you guys. But you know what? You made it easy for me this time around. It has been one of those weekends where you don't want to go anywhere. So I've been hanging around the house and I've been um, reading all of your comments and you guys have been great because on the last video I asked you um, to leave your suggestions of what you wanted to see. And it seemed like, I don't know if you all got together and talked or <laughs> what's going on, but there was an overwhelming consensus that you wanted to hear more about organization. A lot of you are in the same situation that I am. You're a working mom, your life is busy, and you asked about organization and keeping things together and planning and all of that. So I thought, you know what, that's a really good idea. Um, organization is so important to me. I confess, I am a neat freak. I am one of those people who cannot stand things on the floor. To me, there's a place for everything and it needs to go in its place. And so with that premise, um, I have, I guess, created some structure in my life to find places for things so that A, they have a house and a home, and B, I know where everything is at any given time. And I really think that is a huge component of being organized and prepared and not stressed in life is not having to dig around and look for stuff. You know, where are my keys? Where are my glasses? Where's this? Where's that? You know, and you're, you're rummaging through piles of things not knowing where they may be. So to prevent all of that from happening, let's designate a home for things and make sure that when we remove things, we put them where they should be. And I really think that that will be key in, in helping you feel a little more structured and a little more balanced. And I'll show you some ideas of what I've done. And we'll start with makeup and everything that's, that's in this bathroom. As you know, I always reach over here for my handy kit. So I'm going to open this baby up and show you what on earth is in this giant tackle box, which I believe I got on amazon.com. Um, I think I searched makeup kits or makeup boxes and this popped up and there are many, many to choose from. You know, they make so many. Um, and you can always use a tackle box, you know, to store your lipsticks and your bait and your shrimp. <laughs> so anyway, there's stuff out there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this puppy up and I will bring the camera in and zoom in and basically show you how I decided to organize my things, okay? There's a compartment for everything, which is great. So on this top tier, I've put basically loose eyeshadows, shadows that come in little small containers. Um, I've got an eyebrow duo right here. Uh, but these are mainly small shadows or a liquid liner, so they go here. In this one, I've arranged all of my mascaras. I've got my pencil sharpener, my eyelash curler, eyeliner, um, my brow whiz. So anything to do with eyelining and mascara is here on the top deck. So now I'm going to open this up. So here we go. So it opens up to the next layer. Over here I've put all of my foundations and I have my wonderful sponge for foundation application as well as for concealer. On this side, oh, look at my Tarte collection. I have a Tarte family <laughs> of concealer. So I think I've got several shades, maybe two of the same shade. I don't care. I know I'm going to use this stuff. So anyway, all of my Tarte concealers are in this compartment. And in the big bottom part here, it's a, a myriad of stuff. Loose powders. Uh, my face Atelier Translucent Loose Powder is here. Um, I've got a couple of MAC eyeshadow quads that I've built. This one I featured, my fall eye look tutorial. Um, I've got my bronzing powder in here and a ton of brushes, okay? All brushes known to mankind exist on the bottom layer. And I've got a few eyeshadow kits in there as well, some big kits that I've bought, because you know, I'm a really big fan of eyeshadow kits. So anyway, it's all in here and it's great because it keeps it contained um, and organized and I'm not digging through drawers to find things. And then when I'm done, I just fold this little baby up lock it, and then I store it directly underneath my chair here in my bathroom. So this way it's out of sight, out of mind, and then I just pull it out when it's time to use it. Now, you may be wondering about lipsticks. As you know, I do have a thing for lipsticks, especially light pink ones. Um, and this tackle box cannot hold all of that makeup and my lipsticks. So I sort of have a little project going on. <laughs> it's really bad. So I have everything piled up in a, in a large container. It's open and it has compartments, but there's just, there's too much. Okay, it's excessive. I admit I overdo it and it's a problem. But 
I need to clear out my lipsticks and I always give them to my mother. <laughs> She's a willing recipient. So I'm going to organize my lipsticks and then I will show you that when I'm done. But in the meantime, it's just, it's overflowing and it's embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to take you inside my closet. It's not all that grandiose, but it is organized. We're going on a trip. Ready? Here we go. So again, it's, it's a sardine can in here, I admit. I, I mean, really, everything is packed in, but there's a system to this. So if you look over here, I've got long sort of summer dresses and things, and then it moves over to the black section, as I call it, kind of evening cocktail, black dresses. I got a thing for black. Pantsuits are over here. They're long. I needed the length. My kids joke about the shoes because, yeah, I got a little too many but I can't help it. And they're organized and they live in these little racks and they seem to enjoy one another. <laughs> anyway, yes, I know, too many shoes. Um, moving over here, I've got some coats and things. I've got more coats upstairs, but there's a system to this. It's sort of winter over here, sweaters, and then it moves over to work jackets, different colors. Um, on the bottom, I've got blouses, then skirts, and then pants. So there's sort of a rhyme and reason to all of this. And again, it's not, you know, I've seen more organized. This is all workout stuff, sweats, things like that. And then it transitions over to camis and tanks and little little handbags live up there. Big handbags live up there. And, and honestly, that's it. Ooh, are you dizzy? <laughs> I think I am. Um, again, it's just about having order and a place for things and a designated spot. So you take it off, you know where it goes, you know where you're going to find it. Um, I put all my jewelry in drawers and, and again, I just like order. And I will carry this over and talk just briefly about as a parent and having children. Honestly, the same thing applies. And I know a lot of you reached out to me about that because it's a struggle finding that order and structure, not only in your life, but also your families, because it can get crazy. And we've got a lot of kids in this house. So if we're not on top of it, it can get messy fast. So there are some basic rules that we follow in this house. Um, I'm not a hypocrite. I would never ask anybody to do what I'm not willing to do myself. And that's what I tell the children. Um, pick up your things. Don't put it on the floor. Clothes basically have two options. They either get hung up or put back in a drawer or they go in a hamper if they're dirty. I don't want piles of stuff on the floor. It makes no sense to me. Um, personal care is really important. And you know, it's funny how little simple rules can really help make a home efficient. So for instance, in the morning before we're getting everybody off to school, there are the basics. You've got to get up, brush your teeth, brush your hair, take a shower if you didn't take a shower the night before, make your bed, make sure there's nothing on the floor, and then we leave to go to school. And we won't leave until all that stuff is done. And I'll walk around and I'll check rooms and um, look and see, and, and I'm waiting. So my feeling is, is that if you wanna be on time and you don't wanna be tardy, it's really in your hands. So we make sure the kids get up early enough to take care of their business, make sure the home is tidy. And that way, when I come back after morning carpool, I'm not looking at a tornado and it's certainly not my responsibility to pick up children's messes. I think you have to teach them early and teach them young to be orderly. And most important in my book, it's respect. I think if you have respect for environment, you have respect for yourself. And these habits need to be taught early on. So in my book, it's all encompassing. It starts with you and creating structure and order in your life. And it just trickles down from there. And I think if we can impart that in our children and help them become better organized, I truly believe we are creating organized and functional adults in the process. I really hope this was helpful for you. Again, I got this idea from you. So please, please keep on um, giving me some ideas. You guys were asking for a home tour. I had a really good one about fresh flowers or not. And if you do fresh, how do you or, uh, arrange them? I'm a huge fresh flower person. So I may incorporate that in a video for doing home flower arranging because I love the beauty in fresh flowers. So anyway, I'm open for anything. I'm game. Um, leave your comments below. You can follow me on all my social media channels as well as KPRC local 2 and click to houston.com we stream our videos live so you can catch a newscast if you're out of the houston area so i thank you for being with me i hope you feel a little more organized or have maybe a mindset on how to tackle all of this um, and i look forward to seeing what you want to see in the coming weeks go out there be bold be blessed and i'll see you next time bye